So as the new DNC chair, Tom Perez is faced with the task of polishing the gigantic turd known as the Democratic Party. So this will be an up hill battle because currently nobody trusts the DNC. Nobody believes that the Democratic Party is actually the party of the working people like they were when FDR was president. So this is going to be a really difficult thing for him to do. It's seemingly impossible at this point. However, he's getting right to work. Now for Tom Perez's first order of business, he's choosing to emphasize an issue that I assure you will definitely bring back a majority of the people that the Democratic Party lost over the last eight years. What we need to be looking at is whether this election was rigged by Donald Trump and his buddy Vladimir Putin. And I'll tell you, having Jeff Sessions oversee such an investigation, it's really unfair to any foxes across America to say that would be the fox guarding the hen house. We need an independent investigation because that is a serious, serious issue. And the American people need to understand whether the Russians in cahoots with the Trump folks and others rigged the election. Brilliant. That was great, Tom. I'm sure that all of the poor Americans who have to stand outside of food banks in the cold to make sure that they're one of the first to arrive so they can get a loaf of bread for their family, I'm sure that those people are definitely going to care about the Democratic Party's new McCarthyism and their red scare that they're trying to perpetuate. I'm sure that it's not the issues that they care about. I'm sure focusing disproportionately on Russia is definitely a winning strategy for you. So now to kind of contextualize what he's saying here, just so that way we really understand how absurd it is. Well, Donald Trump colluded with Vladimir Putin allegedly to rig the election against Hillary Clinton by releasing emails that exposed how the DNC rigged an election for Hillary Clinton. That's what he's saying here, effectively. Tom, you claim that the Democratic primary wasn't rigged. So if the DNC didn't actually rig the primary against Bernie Sanders, then the emails that you claim were released by Russia shouldn't have any impact, right? Because the emails didn't reveal anything then, right? But yet, you still maintain that Russia rigged the election against Hillary Clinton. But yet, the DNC did nothing to rig the election against Bernie Sanders. Interesting. So, if the DNC violates its own charter and tries to sabotage the campaign of Bernie Sanders, if the DNC colludes with Hillary Clinton's campaign early on to give her an early advantage to literally create rules that would benefit her and disadvantage her opponents, you know... There's no problem with that. If they disenfranchise their own voters, millions of their own voters, there's absolutely no problem with that. There's no rigging there. However, exposing that information, exposing what the Democratic Party did, that's where we have a problem. So, I mean, this whole conversation is absurd. Russia rigged the election because they exposed how the DNC rigged the election. Do you understand what you're saying? And how stupid this is? And furthermore, even if we can prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that Russia did, in fact, try to influence the election in favor of Donald Trump over Hillary Clinton, do you honestly think that the Americans who are hurting right now, who are trying to survive off of $7.25 an hour, really are going to care about this? Do you not think that policies will resonate more with the American people? It just seems like a failed strategy to me. But I mean, if you think that that's the last you heard from Tom Perez about Russia, you're horribly mistaken. You're, you're now seeing Republicans call for a special investigation of what happened in the run-up to the election. And I think there has to be an independent investigation. You can't have um, the attorney general who was out on the stump for the president uh, doing that investigation. That, that's disrespectful to all foxes to call it the fox guarding the hen house. And uh, we have to make sure that it, it is fair and independent. If the, if the um, tables had been turned and Hillary Clinton had won the presidency with the help of Donald Trump, or with, with the help of Putin, I, I confuse Putin and Trump because they're so similar, and, um, and, and uh, the, the help of all this hacking, the Republicans, you know, how many Benghazi hearings did they have? Fifteen? I mean, they, there would have been articles of impeachment filed already. Oh, look, he used the fox guarding the hen house analogy again. Brilliant. So what Debbie Wasserman Schultz is saying here, I mean, what Tom is saying here, I'm sorry, I confused the two because they're so similar, is that if the shoe was on the other foot and Republicans tipped the scales against Hillary Clinton, well, then there would be universal outrage. Well, let me ask you this, Tom. 
you claim that Hillary Clinton won fair and square. So let me ask you whether or not this is fair and square and why there's no outrage from you. So the DNC coordinated with Hillary Clinton's campaign to limit the number of debates to six, and then they created the exclusivity clause so her opponents would be hidden away from the public. This literally banned them from participating in non-DNC sanctioned debates. The DNC also moved red states up on the primary schedule so Hillary Clinton would garner an early lead, thus demoralizing the supporters of her inevitable opponents. She also lobbied and effectively bought off superdelegates so that way they would endorse her early on. Now, if that wasn't bad enough, she did all of this because her 2008 campaign co-chair, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, was overseeing the election. This created a conflict of interest, and then that same individual who oversaw her 2008 campaign tried to sabotage Bernie Sanders by working with DNC insiders to create negative stories about Bernie Sanders that they would then give to the press. Also, Debbie Wasserman Schultz raided funds from state parties so that way she could give them to Hillary Clinton, who was also laundering money in state parties for her campaign. Now, Tom Perez should know about all of this because he worked with Hillary Clinton's campaign to create the narrative that Bernie Sanders only did well among white liberals. And this was after just two primaries. So early on, he was looking to demonize Bernie Sanders and he reached out to Hillary Clinton to explain how he can change the narrative to Bernie Sanders does well among young people to Bernie Sanders only does well among white young people. Now, thousands of registered Democrats were purged from voting rolls in pro-Bernie districts in New York, for example. Also, Bernie Sanders had to basically win double the pledge delegates in order to become the Democratic Party nominee because superdelegates all pledged to back Hillary Clinton. So when Bernie won New Hampshire by more than 20%, Hillary Clinton still got more delegates gets when you include supers. And Debbie Wasserman Schultz defended closed primaries. She shut out independent voters. This is a demographic that's most likely to be young, and it's also a demographic that disproportionately favored Bernie Sanders. But in spite of all of those facts, Tom Perez insists that Hillary Clinton won fair and square. And if you expose those facts, if you expose what the Democratic Party did to destroy Bernie Sanders, that's the rigging. All of these things that I just mentioned, that's not rigging. Exposing these things, that's rigging. That's tipping the scales against Hillary Clinton. But all the things that the DNC and the Democratic Party establishment did to Bernie Sanders, that's not rigging. That's not tipping the scales against Bernie Sanders. You have a really twisted way of looking at things and your definition of rigged is really dubious because I don't think you know what that word means. I mean, you did admit for a short period of time that the primary was rigged against Bernie Sanders, and then you immediately said that you misspoke and that Hillary Clinton won fair and square. And actually, you now claim that the election was rigged against Hillary Clinton. This is the chairman of the Democratic Party. He's the leader of the Democratic Party. He is the main opposition. He is the head of the resistance to Donald Trump. This person, this is the person who was supposed to bring back the voters that the Democratic Party lost. This is the person that Obama pushed forward to be the new DNC chair when he saw that Keith Ellison was gaining momentum because he didn't want the Bernie Sanders wing of the party to take over. Good job, because you just screwed yourself, Democrats. This is your new leader. This is the resistance to Donald Trump. I, ca I can't believe the words that are coming out of my mouth. This guy, this weasel is supposed to take on Donald Trump. He can't even answer a question. So what, is he going to run away from Donald Trump if Donald Trump poses a tough question to him? Because that's how we've seen him operate. He was asked about his position on Palestinian human rights and he ran away from the reporter. This is the opposition to Donald Trump. Ladies and gentlemen, we are screwed. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.